guys, it's Yvette, and I am here with my very first Modern Quilters box. Um, now, I have to say that um, I saw Mr. Domestic open this box and uh, must admit that there was a little bit of jealousy there that apparently they had contacted him to open the box for them. And um, I didn't get a contact or anything like that. So, obviously, I need to step up my game. <laughs> <laughs> so that all of these quilty boxes out there know that they should be coming straight on over to me. <laughs> um, but I did see him open the box and I thought that it was super awesome. Uh, in fact, as soon as I saw him open the box, I went straight over to their... Um, page on Instagram and they had the one of the things like just only one actually because the whole box was awesome um, but the one thing that I saw inside was this sticker um, and it said oh my gosh kind something about kindness and it's not kindness matters it's something else and it just is so touched me because you guys know how I feel about that um, I just think it's one of the most important things that we as human beings should show one another. And I truly do feel that way. I'm not saying that I'm perfect and I, <laughs> you know, I'm truly the kindest person ever, like 24-7. But I strive to be. And um, I just think it's really important that... I just think it's really important. So anyway, I did order some of the stickers from them because they went ahead and I guess everyone was saying that they love the stickers. So I ordered like 10 of the stickers and they're going to send them to me and so excited. And of course I signed up for the box because I'm going to sign up for the box. I thought it was like really super awesome. So again, here's the box. It's very, very pretty. Um, I just, I just love it. I think it's awesome. And let's get it open and see what's inside this month. I'm really stunt, like bummed that I didn't get like from the very beginning because I think it's a great box. So, but let's see what's in this one. If I can get it open. <laughs> I know I cut all the tape. I made sure. Okay, so inside it is this bright grass green paper. I love that. Totally not going to rip the sticker. Okay, extra paper. <laughs> okay, um, modern handmade, modern quilters box. Ooh, their um, their business card has got like this glitter inside. I'm gonna have to like see if I can't get that on my business cards. Um, okay, it says after you ooh and ah over all the goodness in your box, snap a pic and share it on Instagram with the hashtag the modern quilters box for an entry into our monthly drawing for a free box yay i'm gonna do that um mine's gonna be a video but i'm sure they'll take that and oh and they have a retail store um so you can go online and see what's in their retail store so i'll give you all that information down below if you want to go and check them out in their store i'm certainly going to go do that um okay oh. The candy that I've been missing in my Quilters candy box. It looks like a caramel, and I am so excited right now. I have coffee. So I probably don't need any candy right now. But I'm drinking my coffee out of my Canada mug that someone sent me. Thank you. <laughs> you guys think I don't use these things. I use everything. Um, okay, so it says... This fab this month's fabric comes from the new collection Re Redo or Redux. Would you say Redux? See, I don't I'm not really sure. By Giuseppe Rabal Rabato Rabato. Just call him Juicy Juice. We know how to say that. Uh, this is an amazing addition to his first line, Quantum. And Julie Herman of Jaybird Jaybird Quilts brings us this month's featured pattern, Nova. The sidekick ruler needed to make this pattern is also included in the box. Okay, um, and then there's more. So let's just, you know, slow our roll here. Oh, okay. Okay, 
Um, now this is the fabric. Oh my goodness, look how much fabric we get. Um, but this is the fabric by Juicy Juice, and the line again is called Redo or Redux. Um, I'm not sure how he would say it. I, it's probably Redux. I, I think that they're probably saying the X, and I'm just totally messing it all up. So, I have to say, I, um, saw some of his line, um, the other one they were talking about, uh, Quantum. And I think I got, like, a couple of the prints from it, but they were so geometric that I just, you guys now know how I am, and I'm, I'm totally getting better but there was something about it. I just, I couldn't get into the line. I just, I wanted to because the colors were so wonderful. Like the colors I just loved. And I have to say, I'm looking at this right now and there is geometrics in it, but it's beautiful. Like I'm really liking it. Um, so let me show you one at a time, obviously. Um, let me put this down so that I can not be worried about dropping a box while I'm showing you fabric. Um, here is the first fabric and I'm just, I'm loving this. It's um, like a purple with a darker purple with all of the triangles and the lines that are in it. Um, totally loving this one. I, I really am digging this particular print and the color. Okay. You guys, it's okay for a hot box. Let me take this stuff out. Oh, let me just take the stuff out. You can have it, okay? There you go. Now you can have it. <laughs> I had left all the stuff in the box and put it on the floor, and then they're all um, taking turns trying to get their little booties in there. Okay. Um, okay, now this one, I like the color, but I'm thinking I would really need to use it in something where I'm cutting it up because I'm not really feeling that pattern so much. Um, but I love that color and I think that if I used this either for a binding, um, which you know, you would only see like certain little parts of it, but you get all those pops of that lovely teal color with the darker blue, um, lines on it. I do like that. I'm just not really sure about that, like how it comes down to that X in the middle. I don't know. I'm just not feeling that. I wouldn't want to use it as a large scale print. That's just for me. But other than that, I do like this one as well. And I love the color. I'm telling you, I'm love, I love his colors. I just, I, I really, really like his colors. Because you know me, I, the rainbows and the, all, I love all of that. Um, okay, totally loving this one. Um... It's got, it's like this purple with the light purple lines this time. It almost looks like Morse code. <laughs> and it's got this little bit of sheen to it. Can you see that? It does sort of look like Morse code to me. I have no idea what Morse code looks like. But if I ever heard Morse code, I think I would think this is what it looks like. <laughs> um, I love this one. I, I really love this one. These colors are popping and... The lines on it, the you know, the geometrics part is very simple. It's um, subdued, and I like that a lot better. So that's really pretty. Okay, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you guys, as far as I'm concerned, this, to me, is him hitting it out of the park with me because I'm, I'm ha I have a hard time with the geometrics. So I'm loving this one. It's just a beautiful yellow color with like a mustard color with the with the lines and then the circles and then he's even got a couple of the circles and the only ones that I kind of question um see how they have like those blank spaces there like right here where it's just the yellow there are no lines and every once in a while there'll be um a circle like that oh look at this one with the big triangle in the middle so it's interesting it's interesting um but I do still like this one. This one is a good one. Okay. <laughs> Jelly Bean's checking it out. What you think, buddy? What you thinking? Oh, did nobody see inside your ears, buddy? <laughs> Do you want the paper? I know you don't want the coffee. You can smell it, though. You can smell the coffee. That's okay. 
Um, okay, so the next one, um, oh, oh, the sticker. It says radiate positivity. I'm going to start putting these on my, on my machine because I'm loving these stickers that, that we're getting. And this, oh my gosh, like I almost want to just stick with this box for their stickers. <laughs> Is that crazy? It's pretty crazy. Um, but I, I love that. Oh my gosh, this is totally my box. Oh, totally my box. Okay. Um, and so this one is a green. Uh, I have to admit that this one is not quite jumping out at me as much as the others. I find this green just, you know, when you throw it in with the other colors, the green looks a little dull. Um, <laughs> but I still love it. I do. Um, I'm glad it's this green and not... I have to admit, I don't think I would want it to be like a Kelly green or something like too bright because I just don't know. It's just, and I'm not saying I don't like this color. It's just probably my least favorite of the pile. That's all. Um, but this one's nice. And it's got those same lines and triangles uh, like in the first one. So that's really cool. I'm liking that. Okie dokie, smokey. Um, oh, now we got this a teal. And it's got those triangles as well. Very, very nice. I love that color. Oh my gosh. And the camera is seriously not doing it any justice. I'm telling you. It's, it's got more of a green in it than... Oh, that, see, that's, that for a second gave it like a good kind of show of the color. It's gorgeous. It's very saturated. I love that. Um, okay, so now I like this color. I sort of wish that this color, it's an orange, I, I like it, but I almost wish that the contrast color that was in there um, was maybe a little more vibrant to like jump out of it. Um, I, I'm not sure. I, there's just something about it, but let me say something. I'm loving the print on this. I like how, the only thing is, like, here's to me, here's what I'm thinking. I love the little crosses, right? But then you see how, like, those, the, there are those dark spots in there? The only problem with it is that, to me, like, when I look at it, it almost looks like somebody spilled something, and, like, it's not meant to be that way. <laughs> I mean, you'd have to, like, see, like, if you, if you saw it just sitting down, because when I saw it in the box, I was like, ooh, what happened? <laughs> Nothing happened. It's purposeful. <laughs> they did it on purpose. Um, but that's a lovely color too. I really like that color. I just wish that it, like maybe there was a, if it was like a pop of like bright yellow in there or something. I don't know. I'm sitting here changing his whole line. <laughs> like it's my business. <laughs> um, and then here, see, I like this green much better. I like this. And this is with that circle print again. But I really like this green. This is really pretty. You know me, the bright colors. And anything that's like super saturated. I love super saturated colors. And I don't like them to be too busy. So um, so this is this is great. It's so it's very subtle and I like it. Okay, you know what? I didn't realize that actually this might be my <laughs> This might be my least favorite and not that green one over there because I'm not a huge fan of mustard. I'm really not. I love yellow, but like when it gets mustard like this, um, yeah, it's just my eye is just not going to be drawn to it as much. Um, but I do like the pattern that's on it. Um, it's, it's just, it's simple and it doesn't like do anything funky. <laughs> in my mind. So I really like this. Oh my gosh, I'm like, I love these. I mean, seriously, like, this is me nitpicking, saying stuff that I, you know, don't like as much or something, because I really like this line. I really do. I like it a lot better than the other one that he had that I saw. So I love that. I'm really happy that I got it. Um, okay, now here's some stuff that's in, that's also in the box. Um, Oh, what's this? And it was on the bottom, so I had to get it out from under the cats. Uh, okay, so this is a card, right? And they have this card with a saying on it. It says, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember, you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. And that is written by Harriet Tubman. That's beautiful. 
have you ever thought about like when we have quotes like this quotes that people have said and stuff like, and I, I'm sitting there I'm thinking to myself what on earth have I contributed <laughs> Amaze balls. <laughs> But then Harriet Tubman gets to say something really awesome like this, and I come up with amaze balls. <laughs> We're like de evolutionizing. <laughs> um, okay, and then we've got a couple of sampler blocks. Um, they sent two blocks, and I'm not sure if that's because I missed the first one. I don't really know, but um, there's two blocks, and then on the back, they're quite simple, and they're all the instructions are on the back. Um, so those are really cool. I'm wondering if, and I don't know because, you know, it's my first one. I'm going to have to see, like, maybe they're sending us, like, an X amount that's supposed to, like, make a quilt. Or is it up to us if we want to make a quilt? Or I don't really know what to, what we're doing with these. Um, but it says we are using bright scraps and low volume backgrounds for our 12-inch blocks. So I don't know if, they must have an ends to, uh, a means to an end right if they're doing this so we'll have to see what that is all about and then we have um a pattern by modern handmade which is them called night stars getting lots of patterns in here guys um and then they tell us how much fabric requirements uh we need um and then here's the finished quilt it measures 70 by 70. That's a big quilt. These must be like 12 inch squares. Yeah, I think I think they end up being 12 inch squares. Okay, so another pattern. And then we have, oh my gosh, we have, you guys, there's some tea. Stash Spice Dragon Red Chai Caffeine Free Tea. I'm not a tea drinker, but I have um, this lady at work who loves tea. I always give her my tea, and she's very thankful. So, thank you for the tea from Dorothy. <laughs> um, another pattern, you guys. I, I'm, I love this box. I like, honestly, they didn't contact me, but that's okay. I'm going to get this box. <laughs> um, so, this pattern is called Nova by Little Jaybird Quilts. And it is a table topper, 20 and a half inches by 23 inches. Um, and it gives you all of um, the requirements that you need for fabric. And also talks about the template, which here it is. It is the Sidekick template by Jaybird Quilts. They were nice enough to give us the template, which is lovely. Um... Wow, this is this is pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm I love this box. You guys, it's brand new. I have no idea how much it costs. <laughs> Don't you guys love how I make videos? Um, but I will give you all the information that you need down below in the description box. So don't forget that um, right directly under the video. Um, You'll see where it either says description or it says something like that, but then it'll say like show more. If you tap that or click that, if you're on your computer, um, then it'll open up and you'll be able to see all the information that I give you because I do that with every single video. If I have any information whatsoever to give you, I give you every ounce of it down below. So um, usually... Um, questions that you need answered are already answered down below. If it does not happen to be answered and you have any other questions please leave me a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you um, you guys do you get this box have you heard of this box do you love this box <laughs> um, yeah modern quilter box that's what this is right on a modern quilters box I uh, just make sure I got it right um, oh, I'm in love I it just started and I know you know that's just how it is but I'm going to radiate some positivity about this box. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.